Hello everyone, Kirith here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to get a million credits at the Laguna Seca Circuit Experience. I know you've been really enjoying these videos. The comments absolutely make my day, honestly. So we're going to do it again, show you all the tips and tricks. When you add everything up here, you're going to be getting that million credits. And we're going to go through the three sectors and the lap attack. Let's get into it. So here we go, we're in the Dodge Viper Group 4 car. We're basically not going to troll break too much in this car. It's not going to respond well to that. So we're going to brake in a straight line, but we're going to use the brake to basically induce some rotation. So have a look how I'm going to do that. So we're going to brake here just before the line where the three is. Don't worry about going too deep here because it's such a long corner. You want to rotate. Keep it in a second. Don't need to go down to first. We're going to get over to the left hand side of the track here and brake just before the one. And a late apex again so we can get on the power. This corner is where you want to just tap the brake to induce the rotation. See here? tapping the brake inducing the rotation then we're flat on the exit and we're going to run it to the line and that is going to be a 137.7 so there's our gold now as we're doing these videos we'll now have a look in the third person camera please 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 do subscribe if you like this video it honestly just makes my day and i'm loving doing this series but please 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 if you are enjoying them do feel free to subscribe so group for viper racing hard tires so have a look where I'm braking just before where that line is. And we're going to go in a straight line critically. Um, Brake tested quite a bit before. We go deep into this corner because it's a deceptively kind of wide corner. It's really a double apex corner. Don't break too early there. Braking here in between the one and the two. In fact, braking pretty, I'm braking quite early in this car, which is a good thing at Laguna Seca. Normally I'll brake myself. And here you want to get as close to this sausage quite wide here. You really want to nibble that sausage a little bit going to save a lot of time in fact I, I don't normally do this but let's do that one again and i'll show you there's a few things i could have worked on so i'll show you again so here we go take number two on this because there's quite a few things we can do better so we're going to um, break just before the line going to go deep into the first corner second gear rotate get on the power but we're going to try and get a lot closer to those sausage curves the next few corners so here we go breaking here in a straight line, letting the car rotate. That's fine, a bit screwy. Now we're really going to brake, actually, I think earlier here and get really close to this sausage. And there's some much nicer exit. And same here, we're going to brake a bit earlier. And we're going to be just nibbling that curb. And we'll have a look here for the time as we shorten the distance to the line. And we've just taken, I think, three tenths off there. So we're very comfortably gold. So a few of the things I talked about, um, breaking really in a straight line for turn one and then trying to get very close to the two sausage curves with those two right-handers, don't touch them. Right, let's head on to sector number two. So here we go, it's sector two, the run to the infamous corkscrew. But to be honest, viewer, this is the most difficult sector of the track. Really tricky, this left hand is tricky. We're gonna break in a straight line from between the three and the two because we wanna take a late apex here and then we wanna carry that power all the way up the hill. Did you see what I did there? So you get on the power super early with the apex here. Brake late. We have to use the green runoff. We have to use the green runoff here. There we go. You've got to get a tyre on it, really. If you don't get a tyre on that green runoff, you're sacrificing too much speed. And that's going to be a gold jest. But we'll go through and I'll show you where there's a bit more time. Um, but it's a super, super tricky tr uh, sector. And that um, one up the hill. I've been to this track in real life, by the way. I haven't driven it, but I've been here and walked around. The elevation change is absolutely insane and you've got to understand that when you're driving the car as well that you can have lots of different lows in the car this is a great example here you really need to take a late apex we're going to break in between the three and the two and you want to apex really just after that sausage our apex a little bit early that means that you can basically be putting the power in all the way up the corner it's very powerful this is really a commitment corner you don't want to touch that sausage you want to be closer so I understood a little bit off it, I was a little bit wide, and you really want to be just using that runoff on the exit to meet, to open up the wheel and get the power going up the hill. The elevation change up to the corkscrew is actually insane. You can really appreciate it in real life. But speaking of the corkscrew, let's do sector three. So here we go, it's the infamous corkscrew. I'm gonna show you the top tips so you can get through lap after lap. Start on the left-hand side, break at the line, just before, down to third gear, not second, and as soon as you hit that tree, we're going to accelerate all the way down. Get to the right side here, just tap the brake because we're going to use the brake and the throttle to steer for that corner. I'll explain it in the replay. 
break just at the two here. You don't want to break too late. Again, we're trying to aim for that sausage. It's like a roller coaster. We're going to break here just after the three. Not too late. And we're going to get it around this tight corner. Light it up. And that should be a gold medal. We'll have a look as we do the run to the line. So it's a gold medal by um, about a second. So, And there's a little bit of time there. Let's have a look at that in third person. So, top tip for the corkscrew, you can pause this play at 0 0.25 so you just want. Break at the line here, just before, down to third gear. Look at this tree there, that tree in the middle. When you see that tree, you know you can go down the hill and you can dump the throttle. This corner here, you want to break in. You want to turn with the brake. Um, in fact, let's... Let's have a look at this replay. I want to show you this properly. I want to show you this properly. So I'm going to pause it at the relevant moments. So break around the line. Go down to third gear, not second, because you want to be in a high gear when you're going down the hill. Try and just touch this green paint on the inside here if you can. This is a tree. See that tree there? That tree in the middle, when you see it, you know that you've got your angles right. So I'll put the... You can see at this point I'm already on full throttle. Because I know where we're going. So um, dump the throttle down here and you, that means you get a fantastic run. You're in the perfect gear. You're going down, you get a load of speed actually. It's fantastic. You just want to get to the right hand side here and then turn in. And you want to use the brake to bring you in. So if you're understeering, use the brake a bit a bit more. And if you're oversteering, then actually use the throttle to push you out of the corner. It's like orbits. It's a weird corner. But you'll see that it's all about a lot of um, brake and throttle control here. So here I'm half throttle. I was using the brake earlier on the corner. Here, don't brake too late. Brake around the two. You really want to get in this dip. I see way too many people brake too late for that corner. And likewise here, don't brake much later than the three at all down to second gear you can ride that curb with gc7 and it's a run to the line right i hope you enjoyed so far so far please make sure to like subscribe all that good stuff if you have let me know in the comments if you've already got the golds because now it's time for the lap attack right here we go it's time for the lap attack i just went and i made a mistake so <laughs> we're gonna do it we're gonna do this together we're gonna get that one million credits let me talk through the lap so we're gonna break around where the line comes out and a straight line down to second gear there we go. Let the car rotate. I'm getting to second gear here. Accelerate out. Up to third. Braking here around the two. We want to get as close as possible to this sausage. Using the car to, uh, using the throttle to rotate a little bit. And likewise here, we want to get as close as possible to the sausage without touching it. You can use a bit of the runoff there. It's not lethal. Here we're going to break in between the three and the two in a straight line because we want to take a late apex and use the throttle to push us up the hill. Nice, nice, nice early upshift to keep the back end in check. Commitment corner time. So we're going to break it just over the crest. Don't be afraid to use a bit of the curb and the runoff there. And we're going to get left inside here. Break just for the white line. Down to third gear. We're going to try and touch this green paint if we can. See the tree and we go. Early upshift to avoid the back end coming around. Here we're going to just use the uh, brake and the throttle to steer around this corner. That was nice in our reference time. And here we're going to brake around the two. I've gone very wide there, so going to a lower gear. Should have braked a bit earlier. And here we're going to brake just off to the three. Let the car turn, let the car turn. Get on the throttle. And it's going to be the run to the line. It's a 128.6 to be, and we're going to get a 128.3, so it's a gold medal. It's the million credits but let's have a look at the replay so we can bring it all together in fact i will put up the i oh know i can't okay we'll just go through like this i'll explain what i'm doing so the white line comes out we break in a straight line just before it down to second gear you can go deep into this corner it's not a problem good off the throttle let the car rotate get on the power here early up shift you feel the backing coming around Braking here around the two, important to get on over to the left hand side of the track. So we start turning in when we're on the curb, it's a curb to curb corner. Likewise, here, start on the left, really open up the corner, 
to stab the break and uh, we apex a little bit too early if you can apex later you'll carry more speed through the corner and like i say breaking here between two and three straight line late apex just after the curb that was a bit nicer you can go up a gear if you want um through the corner to kind of set up the car commitment corner here you're breaking just for the crest dab the brakes to get close to the sausage on the inside use the runoff on the outside there you don't want to remain within the confines of the tarmac you'll be doing too much turning braking here just for the line down to third gear try and just touch the green there if you can and then see the three go down the hill early up just to keep the back end in check right inside here again open up the corner use the brake and the throttle to steer nicely done and i broke myself out broke myself here so i never made that apex should have braked earlier cardinal sin really here here braking just around the three don't definitely don't visibly brake later than the three uh, you can touch that sausage curb and then it's just the run to the line and there we go that is the 128.3 so that is the gold medal let's go and collect our credits everyone let me know in the chat by the way if you completed this lap attack if you're a laguna Seca master so we've got 48,000 there 800,000 there and I think we've got 160 as well for the for the bronze or something. So we got about a million credits. And there we go. That's Laguna Seca done. I really hope you enjoy the track guide. And I'll see you next time.